This is a quick overview of Zombie Apocalypse Geocaching. Here in setting up the game you'll see there are four cards that have zombies on either side. Uh, there's single zombies on the one side and three zombies on the other. For the easier version we're going to put the single zombies in the corners. The players all move and the last player here is going to enter the woods boards which activates the zombies. They will move towards the closest player and the player that has the zombie movement token determines what that is. So this zombie moves and lands on another zombie which will then immediately move to the next card which is also a zombie. Now these two yellow ones are fast moving zombies so they can move diagonally. This one moves diagonally and it hits a cliff which is one of the items where zombies just kind of fall off and so that one's destroyed. Um, the cards are replaced under the zombies where they are left and we still have one more zombie to move in the far corner and this one moves on to some landmines. Those are also a little bit hazardous to zombies so those zombies are destroyed looking pretty good. Here's what happens in the case of a player being next to a zombie and during zombie movement the zombie lands on the player doesn't matter what weapons or equipment they have they become a zombie we flip the card upside down the player card to let you know they're a zombie here this player is carrying an axe which is a one-handed item and will destroy one zombie so the player lands on the card flips it over and sees that it is a single zombie he is allowed to destroy and get a victory point for that zombie now in the case of this next move the player again still has the axe is only able to destroy one zombie and here he lands on a two zombie card so he cannot destroy both of them he is overwhelmed and becomes a player zombie and will play out the rest of the game that way